As our meteorologist will tell you, it is too early to know the kind of weather we're going to have. Yet this unseasonably warm November makes me wonder if we're due for a very cold December. Good morning show viewer Joanne Suttles pointed to folklore. She said when you see a lot of acorns on the ground, the squirrels are getting ready for a cold, cold winter. You'll find this claim rooted in the old farmer's almanac. The theory is squirrels somehow know they need to stock up for a bad winter, so they drop a bunch of acorns. Is there truth to this? Let's verify. My sources are the Appalachian Mountain Club, a nonprofit working to foster the protection of the great outdoors. I also talked to Howley Buckinoff. She's a veterinary technician and field biologist with the North Carolina Zoo. So lots of acorns on the ground doesn't necessarily mean that the squirrels can predict the weather this winter. What it usually means is that it's a mast crop season. And what that is, is trees like oaks that produce acorns are producing more this year. A mast crop in overabundance of nuts happens in a two to five year cycle. What triggers it is largely a mystery, even though scientists speculate climate is a factor. Masts do seem to be specific to region and tree. So North Carolina could have a mast for white oaks one year and a mast for red oaks the next. And squirrels drop the plentiful nuts at a rapid pace, but not because they know a bad winter is coming. It's not that they know what the weather will be but they're preparing for any kind of weather. And the better prediction is because there's more food, there may be more squirrels next year because they are better able to survive with extra fat and extra food squirreled away. So not only do masts feed the squirrels, but they feed the forests. Since the animals can't eat all those excess nuts, the nuts germinate into seedlings for brand new oak trees. All right, thanks, Joanne, for this awesome Verify inquiry. It's refreshing to talk about something like weather. Submit a post, as Joanne did, or a screenshot or video on my Facebook page, Mega Malaris News. You can email or tweet me as well, and let me get your questions verified.